Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about the request object uh, in Lumen. So whenever the user uh, requests any any path to the Lumen application, so the request object in the Lumen has uh, all the things which we need to process uh, that request. Okay, so let's uh, uh, understand it uh, using some example. So when we you install the lumen uh, you will get the example controller in that stp folder okay and uh, in example controller let's define first action public function index okay and return And now we have to connect this uh, action to the path using the route. Okay. So let's uh, define it here. Our controller. Let's copy its name. And uh, action okay and let's uh, give it some path x test okay now i using the uh, i hit the request using the enzomia and it returns us some test so it's a simple form of the request if you have a uh, some parameters and other things then you need you can pass it here I will come on that also but before that uh, how to access the request object the current request object so in Lumen there is a service container which manages the dependency injection injection in the application and automatically include auto load those classes okay so uh, let's uh, so, so request is a uh, inbuilt class in uh, Lumen and we can access uh, by using the dependency injection so let's pass it in this action we can pass also uh, in the con constructor okay so request and uh, So you have to include it also. And uh, let's die dump. Die dump is a shortcut to die and dump the response in Lumen. And let's find out what we get. Okay. We get uh, lots of uh, um, attributes of the request object. Okay, there are cookies, files, server, query, base URL. So how can we access? So let's uh, examine some function of this object. So if we use path, we will get the URI of the request. Like this access test. Okay, only this, it's a URI. Uh, if we uh, want to get uh, full URL, then you can use full URL. Okay. And uh, you will get, okay. So uh, there are some situation we have a parameters in a path. So we just simply like if we have uh, this then we need to just simply uh, add it with a comma and declare it here okay so let's comment it out and print it out to our parameter and uh, we need to change it here also Mm -hmm. 
this is not an ID, this is a detail. I think I missed S. Okay, some test to PI pass 21. Then I will get the 21. Okay, so you can uh, pass any number of parameter after that. The first, uh, initially, you need to include the dependency injection, then you can pass any number of parameters after that. So let's uh, comment it out and open it again. Okay, and uh, let's uh, define some other things. Let's remove this the other parameter and get the post. And we need to change it here also. Yeah. So uh, there is a method uh, in a request object. We can check if it's the if this is this method uh, get request or post request. Okay. So we can check it to the method. Method post, it returns the current method, current request method. And if you want to check, then there is a is method is uh, mm, is method. is get is it get no false it return false and if we I put here post then it should return true it returns true okay so okay so let's talk about the parameters if we pass using our API using the post so Let's suppose some normal parameter like a name and age I have. And if we uh, access using the request, if you want to access using the request, then we can simply use the all method. It returns all the parameter. Okay, it returns the array and we can access easily in our application. If you want to filter out some parameter, like uh, if you were only name in that, we can also do it here. It returns, it returns the name. If you have you have a multiple only, then you can pass it into the array. Okay. Uh, the reverse function of this there is an accept function. So accept name we want all the parameters so let's test it we will have each in response and here it is okay so we can access it to through and uh, if you want to print if you want to directly access the value of the particular parameter then there is a function uh, input Okay. Hmm. So, oh, okay. There are various other methods. I will leave the link uh, for the library. You can check it out there and uh, access as per your requirement. But I before I leave, uh, I want to discuss uh, one more thing. If you have a file parameter in your request. Like here just enable it okay then uh, you can't access it through it through the input you have you need to have uh, you need to use file method so let's check it out for the returns okay uh, you can see uh, it has all the information about the file the original name the mime type the has name the path and extension okay if you want to access any of this attribute you 
you can use this illuminate http uploaded file class functions so let's check it out Uh, upload it okay and uh, it has a uh, several function so let's use it get grant original name and also you need to mention the parameter name here so it's a file name and if we print it out return the test file okay and uh, let's uh, use some other client get original extension so mm, it returns nothing let's use some other function you can using this class to uh, upload the file using the move function okay move actually copy the target uh, source file to target destination get max file size you can get the file size also there are various methods sorry And you will get this okay this is uh, all about the request object there are various other functions in that you can check it out the plotted file and the request object and asks me free any question okay thank you thank you so much